The topic of this video is finding intercepts from an equation. To find the x-intercepts, if any, of the graph of an equation, let y equal 0 in the equation and solve for x, where x is a real number. To find the y-intercept, if any, of the graph of an equation, let x equal 0 in the equation and solve for y, where y is a real number. Said more succinctly, to find an x-intercept, set y to 0. To find y-intercept, set x to 0. Here's a problem. Find the x and y-intercepts of the graph of y equals x squared minus 4. All right, let's look for x-intercepts first. The most important characteristic about an x-intercept is that y equals 0. So replace y with 0 in the equation, and then solve for x. All right, so I'm going to move this subtract 4 to the other side where it changes signs. Then I have 4 equals x squared. I'm going to swap the two sides of my equation. And then I'm going to use the square root property from intermediate algebra, which says drop the square in any parentheses. And on the other side, you can put plus or minus square root. The principal square root of 4 is 2. So I get x equals plus or minus 2. x equals 2 or x equals negative 2. There are two x-intercepts. All right, now we'll look for y-intercepts. The most important characteristic of a y-intercept is that x equals 0. So in your equation, replace x with 0. Because the thing I'm replacing has an exponent, I will use parentheses. 0 squared is 0. 0 minus 4 is negative 4. So I get the y-intercept, negative 4. Now, all of these intercepts can be written as ordered pairs. For example, when x equals 2 and we know y equals 0, that gives us the ordered pair 2 comma 0. And when x equals negative 2 and y equals 0, that gives us the ordered pair negative 2 comma 0. These are our two x-intercepts. There is, however, only one y-intercept, and I can link these together, 0, negative 4.